Hey, this is Munir here from Kujanbug Hub. In this video, we'll see what are the differences between the classic editor and the, and the block editor called Kujanbug. This is the classic editor on my right hand side and this is the Kujanbug editor on the left side. As you can see, these are two completely different editors for creating content in WordPress. The old classic editor was a, simply a text editor with formatting options on the top which is similar to Microsoft Word. And the new editor uses a totally different approach for creating content called blocks and hence named a block editor. Blocks are simply content elements that you add on the edit screen to create your content. Each piece of content in the Kuttenberg is a, is a block. Either it's an image, a gallery, a headline, a paragraph, whatsoever. Each piece of content is a block in Gutenberg. So let's uh, try to understand what are the differences, what are the main uh, or major differences or how Gutenberg is better than the classic editor. So as you can see, there is only one control uh, panel on the top which allows some formatting options for content, not, not much useful. Is simply like a Microsoft Word which uh, is helpful for formatting your content like you make it bold italic etc but not much you can do with the media or columns or gallery so as compared to here it has different controls for different blocks or content for example this is an image block and it has different options here I can uh, and on the right side as well here is an option or a style which makes the image circle and there are different options I can set the image sizes to differently I can adjust also adjust the image size by simply dragging and dropping it here similarly on the paragraph block there are different tools on the toolbar and on the right side as well so in Gutenberg you got different tools or different controls for each uh, block depending on the nature of block and the options added by the the core Gutenberg block team or if you are using a third-party block uh, the developer it depends on what options the developer is providing you on the other hand the classic editor has simply the same control panel on the top for all content you add there is no much con Control for individual uh, content elements like image or a paragraph for example let me show you by quickly by adding an image here so I add an image by clicking on this and insert here we go it has some alignment options but not much like uh, like this I can actually show you some cool stuff as well uh, quickly this this is a new uh, functionality added to the image blog in the latest update of WordPress you can set aspect ratio you can zoom the image as you can see I can zoom in and apply it there are more controls I'll show you in another video so I just zoom the image you cannot do this in in this editor uh, in the classic editor you can obviously move it uh, resize the image as well in the classic editor but that's not much intuitive like like we have in, uh, in the Gutenberg editor so this is for some basic controls we'll see more uh, if we were if you want to see more differences let's try to create a table in both editors so in Gutenberg uh, we have a table block which is very intuitive to work with you you can add a table it gives you uh, the option to select the number of columns and rows so let's keep it to two by two and if I quit create uh, it shows me a table so as you can see on the top of the table I have different formatting options and also some options to add new row or um, add new column or delete a row and delete a column I can add content like this hit tab go to next cell add content hit tab or click here and this way I can add my table content and then on the right side I have some 
more options for the table as you can see this there are two styles currently uh, one is the stripe and one is the default and I can also have a fixed table header like this and header section this is my header label I can call it anything and then I can also have a footer so this is a, a much friendly uh, or customizable uh, table element which is available in Gutenberg by default and let's try to create a similar table in, in the classic editor if I hit enter and uh, I need to create a table so there is a way uh, I, I, I actually don't remember how to do it in classic editor so I don't think there is a way to add a table completely so yeah there's no way to insert a table basically uh, I was mistaken I just can't remember as I've been using Gutenberg for so long so there is no way to for you to add a table uh, by default in uh, in the classic editor like I did in the Gutenberg you have to use a third-party plugin or, or install a plugin to be able to create tables in the classic editor so Gutenberg makes it super easier for you similarly let's see how the calories work uh, to see and the content element uh, difference between creating galleries in Gutenberg or in the classic editor so let's try to create a gallery we simply need to add a gallery block like this and upload the images or select from media library so I'll quickly select a few images like this all right so I create gallery and insert it there we go so it has some options on the top and then it has some options on the right side it, on the right side it allows me to create the adjust the columns uh, as you can see right it's and then I have this crop image option which uh, is cropping the images pretty nice I can also link the gallery images to either none or media files etc and set the image sizes uh, differently so as you can see this is a nice gallery I've added and basically let me show you by making it uh, like this okay so this is a four column gallery layout which is showing the four columns on the top and then the remaining two are nicely adjusted uh, to the full width by two by two now let's create a similar kind of uh, gallery in the classic editor to add a gallery we need to add simply add images um i'll select a few images one two three um, um four five six insert on the page no 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 sorry so first sorry i forgot I go to images and select some images from here one two three one two three four five six and go to create gallery actually and then select images uh, the images have been selected already so I'll just create a new gallery and there are some similar images but that's okay uh, okay it allows me to set the columns here so I'll make it the same four column layout uh, link it to none and the size to be medium same as uh, actually large same as here and click on insert now as you can see this gallery is not much uh, anywhere close to what the Gutenberg gallery is providing me by default I'm not I'm not saying uh, it cannot be improved by a plugin but but visually you can see that Gutenberg default gallery block is much better uh, to create galleries easily without any third-party plugin as compared to the classic editor as you can see here there are no there are no options for me to control the gallery uh, and in Gutenberg also I, I'll show you one more thing in Gutenberg if you need to reorder your images you simply 
you simply move your images by clicking this arrow and it next to the left or right as you can see this is much much intuitive visually uh, visually appealing and easy to use for anyone and to add an image caption you can simply write your caption here let me write my name uh, it's not me but it's okay so and I can even format my caption to bold italic or link it and do some more formatting so this is how easy it is in Gutenberg to add a caption and to rearrange the images in the gallery now in the Gutenberg, uh, in the classic editor you have no option to rearrange your images right here or add a caption you have to edit the gallery and then write your caption here here it is and you can also rearrange your images like this and then update the gallery again so you have to make edits in there but it's still it's not that uh, visually appealing as compared to the Gutenberg editor if you want to create a multi-column layout in Gutenberg you can easily uh, do that by adding a columns block first by like this see oh let me show you how I have uh, this is the column blocks you can set the number of columns uh, like two columns or this these two columns are a three column layout like this or this so let me show you so now I can add any block in, in this column for example let me add, a, add an image and then on the right column I can add another image or a column or or anything I can even add a gallery or another column block so for example let me add a headline first uh, and then I hit enter and write some paragraph here like this I can then hit enter again and add a block uh, or a button block sorry uh, a button block so this is the two column layout I've created in this section which has an image on the left and a headline a paragraph and a contact block uh, you can also uh, see which block you are working with from the bottom uh, breadcrumb or navigation it shows you where you are exactly for example I have selected this block so it shows me I'm in the columns block within that a column block and then inside that a button block this is what I'm working with if I select this one it shows me that I'm in a paragraph block inside the column block so if I need to select the column it shows me this uh, selected indicator now I can okay sorry this then uh, let me close this okay so let me select the column again now it shows me some uh, column controls and the interesting one is the vertical alignment option I have so I can center align the vertically uh, my content to as to the up to the height of the of the left column for example uh, like this so this is how intuitive it is to create a multi-column layout in Gutenberg on the other hand in the classic editor you literally uh, you don't have uh, any way to create a column Additionally, I, I also show you, uh, this is not a fixed column. I can add more column down the road. If I need to add another column, I can do it right here. Or if I need to adjust the width of a particular column. So for example, um, I'll try to decrease the percentage of width uh, on of the left column. So I can do it like this. So now, the left column is less uh, having a less width than the right column so all this can be done easily in Gutenberg and cannot be done in the classic editor
and the last thing I'd like to show you is how easy to move your content up and down uh, to your article in your article or, or the page you are editing in Gutenberg so let's say I want to move this column on the top so I just need to select it and click on this it moves up one block and if I click again it moves up another block and if I click again again it moves it keep moving me uh, until I'm on the top so this way you can uh, move your content in Gutenberg or you can also move your content by holding it and moving it anywhere you want so this is how it is easy it is to move content in Gutenberg. On the other hand, if I like to move this gallery to the top, so the only option I have is uh, maybe uh, maybe I can drop drag and drop the gallery like this, but it messed with the with the text or not. But I cannot move the paragraph the same way. So if I need to similarly this is a paragraph block it can be moved like this but for the paragraph block in classic editor I have to highlight this and right click it and maybe cut it and then go to the top click it and hit enter and then paste it here so this is how it is done in classic editor and you cannot move uh, the way you can in the Gutenberg you can even move your content within column for example if I need to move this name block inside this column I can easily do this by dragging it like here so now the name block or the headline block is moved in the left column this is how easy it is to to move your content uh, elements in Gutenberg as compared to the classic editor so I just showed you quickly the two uh, few of the differences between the classic editor and the Gutenberg by showing you individual content elements like table creating a table in both editors or creating a gallery but there are many more differences which if you start using the Gutenberg editor you will find out that Gutenberg is far better than the old classic editor of WordPress hope you like this video please subscribe to to our YouTube channel and follow us uh, or join us on at Facebook group thank you